guys, it's Al. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a bit of a thrift with me and thrift haul. I had COVID like two weeks ago and then I had a bunch of work to catch up on. But in that period of time I was like craving going thrifting so much because I usually go like once a week or every other week. And so I went and I filmed it for you guys because I did a little poll on my Instagram a while ago and a lot of you said that you'd be interested in watching something like this. Um, and I know it doesn't really correlate to what my channel is usually about, which is veganism. Um, but there is certain aspects of thrifting and the fashion industry that have to do with veganism. So before we get into the thrift with me and the haul, I wanted to quickly address some of these things. So the fast fashion industry is full of issues, one major one being sustainability issues. I'll pull up, put up a little graph right here um, that I found um, that was done by the EPA and it shows the textile waste management from 1960 to 2018. And I know it's not the most recent information, but we can see a massive, massive increase in the um, landfilled textiles um, in more recent years. And I also found a statistic that says, in America alone, an estimated 11.3 million tons of textile waste, which is equivalent to 85% of all textiles, end up in landfills on a yearly basis. Um, so this is just a massive problem if 85% of the textiles that we're consuming, which is clothing, bedding, all the other things that we can think of, towels, um, are ending up in landfills when they probably are good enough to be used again by another person. And so this is why donating to thrift stores is so important because we need to stop consuming something and then throwing it away as soon as it's not useful to us anymore because it could be very useful to someone else. Um, and it also saves it from being in a landfill. Second, the fast fashion industry is notorious for human rights issues. This includes child labor and slave labor as some of the worst aspects of it. Um, but there's plenty more and there's a lot of sources online that cover this topic. I'm not gonna go fully into it, but it is definitely a massive problem in the fast fashion industry. And I highly recommend if you're still buying fast fashion that you look into the human rights issues that are associated with the industry. And finally, the most concerning issue for a vegan is the fur, wool, silk, and other animal products being used in the fashion industry. These industries are inherently cruel and exploitative to animals. Earthling Ed made a great video covering everything you need to know about animals use in fashion and I highly recommend you watch that so I'm gonna link that down below for you guys. It's a great, it's a great watch. With all this said, thrifting is a great way to avoid all of these issues and contributing your dollar directly to these issues. I personally have been okay in my past years of veganism to buy animal products in a thrifted way. Um, so I have bought leather sneakers in a thrifted, um, on a thrifted website. I highly recommend if you are going to buy animal products from the fashion industry that you buy them secondhand and you are not buying new leather because as soon as you buy new animal products, they have to be replaced by killing another animal. So. It's really important to be mindful about the effects that you just buying a pair of leather sneakers has on an entire animal's life. Um, so if you can buy things secondhand, I highly recommend you do. Avoiding all of these issues is why I opt to thrift whenever possible for anything in my life. I don't think I've bought clothes from a fast fashion store in years because I find everything that I want to find thrifting and it's actually so easy to find current trends in the thrift store because trends always recycle themselves. They're always coming back into fashion. We're always seeing trends from past decades come back in, so it is so easy to thrift and it's cheaper and it's fun to go into the store and hunt for what you are looking for and make a whole thrift wish list and a Pinterest board. It's just so fun. I highly recommend you guys do the same when you are wanting to add some new things to your wardrobe. Um, and without further ado, let's get into the thrift with me portion of this video. Some guy is staring at me for talking to a camera on my dash. The YouTuber live. So 
We are at Savers today and I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna do a little thrift with me and a thrift haul. Before we go in, I'm gonna pop up my Pinterest wish list on the screen and I also wrote a written list of things that I'm looking for, so I'll read that to you guys. Um, the first thing I really need is black heels because I broke my black heels and I've been dying to find new ones. Hopefully we'll find those today. Or heels with bows on the toes. I've been seeing that, super cute. Um, I've really wanted a cargo or denim maxi skirt, sheer items, off the shoulder tops, asymmetrical tops, anything metallic, accessories especially would be great, um, corset tops, capri cargo pants, um, I know that sounds kind of crazy, that's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, um, but capris are back and we're going to make them cute, um, baggy shorts, um, like baggy men's shorts and graphic prints so those are all the things that I'm looking for and then other than this just whatever I want I guess so <laughs> we're gonna go in see what we can find hopefully some good stuff These are only $7.99. Just basic, literally barely worn. Um, and then on the mission of finding those, I found this really pretty lingerie dress that could definitely be just worn out. It has a little cute little bow right there. Super cute, and that's it. So let's keep going.
We did good, people. I'm pretty pleased. Um, got a few things on my wish list. A few things that were on like previous wish lists that wish wish lists wish lists that I have been looking for ever since. Um, and I treated myself to two pairs of shoes, which I normally don't do, and I'm really excited about both of them. So, so let's go home, wash these things up, and style them for you so you can see the full vision, okay? Okay, Okay. so we're obviously back from the thrift store. Um, it's actually been quite a few days. I am going to be giving you guys a haul of these items honestly get in the zone so easily in a thrift store that I forgot I had a camera with me so I didn't film everything I got but I think that's good because it'll give you guys a little surprise so let's get into the haul so the first thing I want to share with you guys is this lace top this is from the brand access it's in a small and I thought this was really cute I had a lot of lace on my Pinterest board actually and I didn't realize it and it's somewhat sheer. I know I said sheer items were on my list. It does have a lining, but it's a pretty sheer lining. And then the sleeves are unlined, so they're totally see-through. And this is just a wicked cute item. I had actually a lot of things on my Pinterest board that were like this. So I was so happy when I found this. And it will definitely be a staple for me. The next thing is another top. This is a wicked cute little sweater top that I found in the sweater section. I don't know why it's rolling right here. But um, it just has stripes on the bottom, stripes around the collar, and then this wicked cute little bow detail. Oh my god, I love it. So cute. Long sleeve. Very nice. Very cute. The next thing is another sweater. It is this Guess sweater it has guess written in rhinestones fully long sleeve and i love this massive band that it has this ribbed band down the bottom super nice good quality nothing wrong with it and it's v-neck in the front and the back which i thought was a really unique cool detail the next thing is this little t-shirt. Um, you can always use more t-shirts that you can wear on the day-to-day -day basis, but I thought this was a really unique, like elevated basic type thing because it has this little second sleeve lining on the inside, which I thought was cool. And the brand is Reebok. So I thought this was just cute. And I don't wear red that often, but I have been told that I really look good in the color red? I don't know. Speaking of red, um, I actually have been looking for a lace slip dress for the longest time. They were in a lot of 2023 trend predictions that lace slip dresses were going to be really in for wearing out. Um, and I know that this is probably lingerie. I did find it in the lingerie section. It is from Victoria's Secret. But it is this mini length red lace slip dress. I feel like if I wear this, and you're gonna see it on the try on, with a pair of black booty shorts and like a little black tube top with some heels, I could totally wear this out and it would be completely appropriate for a club or a bar. Um, so hopefully that comes out in the try on. Next, I got this off the shoulder gray sweater. Off the shoulder items were definitely in my wish list. You can't really, I, this is a terrible view of it. It is from Cable and Gage, and it's a ter this is a terrible view of it, but you'll see it better in the try on. I also got a pair of leg warmers. I've been seeing my um, thrifting YouTubers that I watch. Um, pick these up and they are wicked cute on certain items so I hopefully I can rock them but they're just plain like cable knitted black with a little ruffle at the bottom hopefully I can make these work and make them cute and the last items are shoes I spoiled myself and bought two pairs of shoes because I needed black heels I went into this thrift haul manifesting black heels I've been looking on eBay for a bunch but eBay tends to be a little more expensive than the actual thrift store, so I was like, let me see if I can just thrift them. 
And I thrifted the exact platform chunky black heels that I was wanting. Um, they are shiny patent leather. They are literally like brand new, barely worn. Um, they are pretty uncomfortable, but that's just heels for you. And hopefully I can wear them in a little bit. And then finally, you guys saw this in the thrift with me portion, but I did end up getting these massive platform red heels. I love these. I mean, where am I going to wear them? I don't know, out to the club, to the bar, like why not? They are super high, super tall, and I hope that I can rock them. They're pretty new, they're a little dirty, but they're pretty new. And they don't really have any damage on them, and they are wicked cute. So I will be rocking these out of the house, and I don't care what anybody says.